So how do you think that went when you were running it right now? So I think there's still some work to be done. Some okay. of the times the calls weren't, weren't being right. made, they were being made late. And even if they were being made, it wasn't being put together into action. Okay. So. And how do you think you could do a better job from a coaching perspective? What do you think you could add on that to get them to, to deliver the drill the way you want it? So I think the first thing is just having them, once they hit their ball, yep. coming back directly to the okay. center. So sure. they're not just running around everywhere. So as soon as they they hit back to the line Perfect. and then ready for the next one so they can visualize how right. they're going call the ball and then put it into action. Like we talked about before. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so let's get that going. Let's see you put that in action. Okay, Alex, your show. Go ahead. Okay, guys, so make sure as soon as you hit, you're not running all the way around, right? You're hitting and then coming back to the center, ready for that next ball. So you're thinking about that next ball as soon as you're done, okay? Here we go. Good. Good. Nice and early. Good. Much better. Good. A little late on that call. Good. Get back nice and early. Good job, guys. Okay, boys and girls, bring it in. So as I'm off camera here, how did you guys feel uh, what Alex did there with the last drill when he ran it? Did you feel it was a little bit different and why? I felt it was a little bit different because he, he gave us some advice and we got to the balls quicker and it changed the way we hit the balls and improved it. Did you feel that he was trying to get you guys to recognize the ball a little bit quicker? Yes, definitely. He, okay. he got us to know where the ball was going quicker than the first two times. Right. So he made us recognize the ball. Very good. Early. Sam? Um, he also made us, like, like he told us to go or, like, um, right when you hit the shot, go around and then like right when you hit the shot you have to visualize the next one okay yeah and yeah did you feel uh going into the drill that was uh designed by radu did you feel that you understood like what the drill was and what you had to deliver to the kids yeah it was clear from the start and what did you feel that you wanted to add which you just did here for this last one uh just having them kind of visualize each ball instead of hitting that ball and then just running frantically around mm -hmm. i think just recognizing that tennis is usually more than one ball. So as soon as you hit, you're thinking about that next ball and not thinking about running around, thinking about the shot that you just hit. That's true. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.